Alcohol is one of the most widely used substances in the world, and for many people, having a drink is part of socialising, relaxing or celebrating. But when drinking becomes excessive or frequent, it can start to take a serious toll on both your body and your life. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the short-term effects of alcohol, the long-term health risks, what happens in alcohol poisoning, and importantly, how alcohol misuse can affect your relationships, your work, as well as your future. Now, whether you're thinking about your own drinking, perhaps you're worried about someone else, or you're just curious, this video is here to inform and not to judge. So what happens to your body when you drink? Well, well, let's start with what alcohol does in the short term and how the effects build depending on how much you've had. So starting with one to two units of alcohol, this is roughly half a pint of beer or a small glass of wine. Now at this level, you might just feel relaxed, warm or more talkative. Typically, your heart rate increases slightly and your blood vessels expand. At four to six units, that's around two or three pints or a few glasses of wine. Now at this point, your brain and nervous system start to be affected. You might feel lightheaded, less inhibited, and start taking more risks. Your judgment and coordination begin to suffer, even if you still feel in control. Around eight to nine units, your reaction times are slower. Speech might start to slur, and your vision might blur. Your liver can't clear this much alcohol overnight, so you're likely to wake up with a hangover. Now at 10 to 12 units, at this point, your coordination is going to be seriously impaired and you're at higher risk of accidents and injuries. Alcohol becomes a depressant, making you feel sleepy or withdrawn. It can upset your stomach, cause dehydration, and leave you with a pounding headache. At more than 12 units, now this raises the risk of alcohol poisoning, which we'll cover in more detail in a later video, especially if the alcohol is consumed over a short period of time. Now, alcohol poisoning can affect vital body functions like breathing, your heart rate, and importantly, the gag reflex, which stops you from choking. Because of this, it can lead to unconsciousness, coma, and in severe cases, death. So what are the potential signs of alcohol poisoning? Well, if someone has got vomiting, seizures or fits, confusion, slow or irregular breathing, cold or clammy skin, pale or a bluish skin tone, which will depend depending on your skin tone, or is unconscious, then you should dial your country's emergency number immediately. That might be 999 in the UK, 911 in the US, or 112 in the EU. Do not leave them to sleep it off. Importantly, turn them on their side, support their head, and don't try to make them vomit because they could choke. So what are the long-term effects of alcohol misuse? Well, over time, regularly drinking large amounts of alcohol can damage nearly every organ in the body, including the brain, the liver, the heart, and the pancreas. It can also raise your blood pressure and cholesterol, increasing your risk of things like heart attacks, strokes, and kidney damage. Now, other long-term health risks include liver disease and liver cancer, pancreatitis, and several other types of cancer, including breast, bowel, mouth, and throat cancer. High and regular use of alcohol can also increase the risk of dementia, depression, sexual dysfunction, fertility problems, as well as increase your risk of weak bones, which can increase the risk of fractures. It can also damage your nerves, your memory, and thinking. So all in all, it can cause a lot of damage to many different body systems. Heavy drinking can also weaken your immune system, making you more vulnerable to infections. So now I'd briefly like to talk about kindling. Well, kindling is a serious complication that can happen after repeated withdrawal from alcohol. Each time someone stops drinking, the withdrawal symptoms can become more intense. Now this can lead to shaking or tremors, anxiety or agitation, and in some cases, seizures. Because alcohol suppresses activity in the brain, suddenly stopping can make the nervous system overreact. And that is why it's essential for people with a history of heavy drinking to get medical advice before quitting suddenly. So now let's talk about the social impact of alcohol misuse. Well, the risks of alcohol misuse go beyond physical health. It can affect your work or your studies, including time off and job loss. It can affect your finances due to spending, fines, or unemployment. And it can even affect your relationships, contributing to arguments, separation, or unfortunately, domestic violence. It can also affect your safety due to accidents, unsafe sex, or losing personal belongings, as well as your housing, in extreme cases leading to homelessness. Now, each year in England alone, 
over a million violent incidents are linked to alcohol misuse, and 1 in 10 accident and emergency visits are related to drinking. So in summary, alcohol is legal and socially accepted, but that doesn't mean it's harmless. Understanding how alcohol affects your body and your brain and knowing where the limits are can help you make more informed decisions about your health. Now, if you're finding it difficult to cut down or control your drinking, you're not alone and help is available. In fact, I've put together another video which is a step-by-step -step guide to help you consider cutting down on alcohol, which you can find in the description box of this video. You can also talk to your local doctor or contact a local support service. And again, I've included links for how to find these in the UK and the US in the description box of this video. No matter where you are, there is support for you out there. Now, for further information, I can recommend DrinkAware for facts about tools and support to understand drinking habits and how to change these, as well as Alcohol Change UK. And this is great for resources on alcohol harm reduction and recovery services. Now, if you found this video helpful or you want to share your story, please do feel free to leave a comment below. I'm sure it's going to help many others who are watching this video. And why not check out this video next?